Hi everybody, it's Tamara, and today's video is going to talk about how to be a better reader. But first, I want to show you these two big, big piles of books that I read in 2020. I'm really surprised because I was just looking through all the books I read last year, and that is a lot of books. And these books over here are the books that I will hopefully finish reading in 2021. And I've already started with this one. Of course, I'll get more books throughout the year. But right now, I'm really hoping to finish these first. I really hope that I can read more books than I did last year. Watch this video to find five ways to become a better reader. There's a reason reading has been around for a really long time. It makes you laugh, it makes you feel happiness, it makes you transport into a different place, but most importantly, it makes you learn. So I said, hey, why not make a video that shares the tips that sometimes I use, but exist, to becoming a better reader. Don't read every word using syllables because it makes it go even slower. Now, when we were kids, we were usually taught to sound out the syllables in the word. And that was okay because we were kids. But when we grow up, it doesn't work like that anymore. It takes a really long time to just read a sentence. Don't read something you don't want to read. For example, I, when I was younger, I liked to read Wimpy Kid because I had fun with those books. And up till now, sometimes I still read them. It doesn't matter where or what book, I just read them because I like them. And you should do the same. Because sometimes you get stressed out when you're reading something you don't want to read and maybe you don't understand it. That is why it is very, very important to read the back of the book so you can know a little bit about the book. There's always time to read. I read in the morning, when I'm going shopping with my mom, even when I'm walking down the, the stairs in my house, I'm always reading and reading and reading. I always make time to read, even if it is a really, really long time to read. I read in the morning after I do all my personal duties. Even in the night, I put this on my books, a night lamp, and it helps me read. So as you can see, there is no need to say, oh, I don't have time to read. You always have time, but you just have to have the initiative. Always read with your finger because you might get lost while reading and you might just say, where was I? But if you could just go back and use your finger, you could just get more focus, you could read more slightly, and you wouldn't have to worry about knowing where each line was. For example, human vision is not straight, but with something to guide on, you can read really straight and you can read more fluently. And finally, always read more than one book at a time. Because if you start getting bored with the same book you're reading, but you still want to read it and you're really bored, well then start a new one. So that way you don't get bored and if you really like the book, you don't have to start having a bad experience with the book. Because then you won't like it. And what's the worth reading something that you started to like, but then you don't like it? So if you start getting bored, read another book or maybe another so you don't get bored and you like that book that you bought because that's what the point of reading is. Read something you like 
and then you learn something. But if you do do that, always have a bookmark handy to mark your pages where you left off. I always use one so I can distinguish the page that I left off so I don't get lost and you have to read all over again a little part that you already read. And it doesn't matter what you read, if you read a magazine or a newspaper, but just read. Because we read every single day in our lives, even though you don't notice it. Like when you're cooking and looking for a recipe, you're reading the recipe. When you're buying something, you're looking at how much it costs and reading it. And there are a lot more ways where you are reading and you don't even notice it. So always read and have a bookmark in handy. I hope that all these tips work for you so that you can become a better reader in this new year. I hope this year you will read a lot more books than you read last year because that will make you really happy. Remember to always read with excitement. And of course, I'll keep uploading videos of the books I read and the ones I will come to read. And remember to follow the golden rule. Treat others the way you want to be treated. If you like my channel, then subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to me now and give me a thumbs up.